What is going on everyone? This is Ninja Geek here and we are bringing you some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay. This is one of the last gameplays on my hard drive and uh, I really don't feel like popping in Advanced Warfare getting some more gameplays because you know let's face it, lots of people know this game is frustrating with the skill based matchmaking in it and it's just real frustrating I'm gonna go over all of that stuff within this video and uh, know that you know I'm trying to make this an opinional video you know lots of people probably agree with me on certain things within this video at least I hope so because you know it's a general kind of consensus within the Call of Duty community about how Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Ghosts, and Advanced Warfare work, and I wanted to give this game some time, you know, to brush off, you know, it's been two months, almost two months, since the game came out, actually, I think, yeah, it's probably over two months since Advanced Warfare came out, so I wanted to do kind of like a, a versus, you know, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 versus Ghosts versus Advanced Warfare, kind of take the the three basic Call of Duty games that came out, I guess, within 2012 to now, kind of take them, and uh, go over them and the differences and why one of them, you know, did better on one topic versus the other one and kind of give an overall consensus about Advanced Warfare, if you will. I did this video with Call of Duty Ghosts. I did a Call of Duty Ghosts versus Black Ops 2 video back when Call of Duty Ghosts came out. And so I figure I make one of these videos discussing my thoughts on it because it's just really interesting. Uh, comparing the different Call of Duties, you know, obviously not comparing them in a way that's, you know, beneficial or different, you know, comparing them in a way that kind of makes sense, you know, I'm not going to say like, oh yeah, well, Black Ops 2 is better because it had the Scorpion Evo and Advanced Warfare doesn't, well, you know, I mean, you know, while the Scorpion Evo and Black Ops 2 is a good gun, it doesn't necessarily mean that Advanced Warfare has to have the gun in the game just to make it good, you know what I mean, I'm comparing it on a general level, like hit detection, you know, stuff like that, like the the basics of Call of Duty, and uh, how they, uh, you know, the score streaks, the perks, everything like that, and uh, I'm basically comparing it in that way to how the games, you know, function. And uh, so, yeah, so I really wanted to get started on that. And uh, I wanted to start on Black Ops 2, I guess, because why not? Because Black Ops 2 came out before any of these. You know, Black Ops 2, uh, let's face it, you know, it had some problems. While the game is fun, and we're going to go over the fun things about it. While the game is fun, it has some problems with the overall hit detection. You know, Black Ops 1 hit detection was even worse, but Black Ops 2 got a little bit better. But the hit detection is still kind of a problem in Black Ops 2. Uh, spawns, obviously, a problem in every Call of Duty. Uh, basically, you know, bare functions of Black Ops 2, they were okay. You know, after seeing Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 2 functions are okay. But, you know, they're by no means any Infinity Ward hit detection over there. So, you know, with Black Ops 2, you're getting a pretty good decent package, you know, you're trading off a hit detection value for um, a fun, fast-paced game, which is still good to this day, you know, there's tons of people on Black Ops 2, I wish I could see how many people are on Advanced Warfare so I could actually get a, you know, a count as to how many people are actually playing compared to, you know, how many people like it, but of course, why don't you think Sledgehammer Games over there with Conjury, who cares about the pro players, you know, how do you think they feel about uh, you know, showing a player count within the multiplayer, you know, it's just not gonna happen, and I think that because the game is out, they can't make it happen, I mean, I'm pretty sure they could make it happen, they're just not gonna make it happen, but anyways, getting back to Black Ops 2 and stop being off track, you know, the hit detection isn't really everything about a game, I mean, it's, you know, it, it matters if it has good hit detection, especially Call of Duty Ghosts had amazing hit detection, it was one, of, it's like, kind of like Modern Warfare 2, but, uh, you know, Call of Duty Ghosts had really great hit detection out of all three of these games that I'm comparing. You know, and then you got the score streaks. Let's talk about the score streaks in Black Ops 2. They did lots of work. You know, really none of them was really that bad. I mean, the Warthog kind of, you know, got negative effects all the time. The score streak could have been buffed a little bit. But in general, the score streaks in Black Ops 2 worked. They did what they had to do. They... You know, they provided a really good kill streak base. You know, it kind of it didn't feel like the Modern Warfare 2 AC-130 kill streaks like that sort of thing. Which I which I wish Call of Duty would kind of like not completely go towards that. But Black Ops 2 is you know kind of close to having really good uh, kill streaks as far as you know based on all the other Call of Duties. The kill streaks matter in Call of Duty games. And then you take a look at Call of Duty Ghosts, and it's just like ew, what the hell happened? The assault package isn't even usable. The only things are really like the guard dog 
you know, stuff like that. Call of Duty Ghost uh, score streaks weren't that great. The support package I mainly used. The specialist was a great idea. That's one thing, but I'm going to get into that in uh, when I talk about Call of Duty Ghost. But yeah, so Black Ops 2 score streaks are great. The perks, uh, I wish that they would build toughness right into the game. I don't think that it should be a perk on its own, like it is in Advanced Warfare, I don't think, or in Call of Duty Ghosts, it is a perk too, except it's not called Toughness, but um, <clears throat> I think that Call of Duty Black Ops 2 should have left Toughness by itself, it should have just been built into the game, that's one thing that I don't like about it, but other than that, the perks were decent, I think they were kind of in the right spots for as far as tiers go, and, you know, Black Ops 2 in general, the fun factor is really amazing, even to this day. You can, I hop on Black Ops 2 and I have fun. You know, the gun balance is especially off balance with the snipers and LMGs and shotguns leading the way. And assault rifles and SMGs kind of being like the secondary classes. Uh, but... Uh, in general, the fun factor in Black Ops 2 is pretty fun. If you get into a lobby with not lots of lag, you could have fun in Black Ops 2. And it's still, to this day, the best Call of Duty, uh, in my opinion. Black Ops 2 is the best Call of Duty to this day, uh, as far as being functional in 2012. or I mean, in 2015, as far as being functional and working and being fun. And all those combined into one, Black Ops 2 is your best pick. Is my best pick, I mean to say, because it's all opinionated, like I said at the beginning. So now we're going to talk about Call of Duty Ghosts, you know. Call of Duty Ghosts, basically, like I said before, hit detection, spot on. You know, of course, every Call of Duty has lag and spawn issues, especially with the recent Call of Duty, so that's just all general. And then you get into the perks. Now, the perks in Call of Duty Ghosts, as said by my man Ghost619 here on YouTube, uh, link in the description, I'll shout him out, I guess, but... Probably everyone should really know who he is unless you just did, unless you were kind of found my channel first. But you know, uploads basically Call of Duty stuff, you know, stuff like that. And uh, he was talking to me on Twitter before uh, I basically said I was going to make a Ghost versus Advanced Warfare video telling some true facts. You know, he kind of responded saying that, you know, the perks in Call of Duty Ghosts were great because sometimes they didn't have the, the same perk in Advanced Warfare. And I do agree on that. You know, Call of Duty Ghosts brought in some new perks. Like, you know, they brought in Ready Up, Dead Silence. I mean, well, Dead Silence has been in Call of Duty ever since, but Advanced Warfare doesn't have Dead Silence in it. And the footsteps are kind of weird considering that you got the Exo movements going on and it's really you know i mean i personally wouldn't like the footsteps to be too loud but right now they're not even anywhere they're just silent and you could hear your own footsteps which again i really hate if anyone remembers that i said that i really hate hearing my own footsteps so i wish i could just run dead silence to uh, counter that but i can't and i would have to run exo mute which isn't even basically the same thing it only lasts for 20 seconds so you know call duty ghost had some really good perks um but in general, I didn't like how Call of Duty Ghosts did the perk system. I would have rather had the tier perks like Black Ops 2 did, or, you know, like any of the Call of Duties basically did, even Advanced Warfare did the tier system of perks, where, you know, they instead of having 30 perks, you know, maybe have 15 and combine perks with each other. So maybe put Ready Up and with Sleight of Hand or something like that. They should have basically did that within... Um, within Call of Duty Ghosts, but, you know, the, I would have rather had the perk tier system, but we got this perk random pick 30 system, which I, I didn't really like, and that's one of the things that I didn't like about Call of Duty Ghosts. The point streaks or the kill streaks, however you want to say it, awful in Call of Duty Ghosts. I would like pretty much everyone knows that they're bad. You know, Assault Streaks, Trinity Rocket barely gets any kills. The Assault Streaks in general don't get any kills. Most people ran support, which that was me. Uh, lots of people ran specialists, which I did a couple times. Specialist was another thing that Call of Duty Ghosts did right. Um, so yeah, so in general, you know, Call of Duty Ghosts got the kill streaks right, except for the assault streaks. They could have been buffed. They could have added more stuff in, you know, because everything was basically like a repeat from other Call of Duties. They didn't add anything new in as far as kill streak goes, and the kill streaks that they did have for the assault really were really, really weak. You know, there was no air support. And there was no lock on launchers. So, you know, it's it's like, where did the Modern Warfare 2 get days, you know, go? Imagine if Call of Duty Ghosts had the functionality that it did, which is amazing, but had amazing killstreaks, amazing maps, you know? 
If they did that, Call of Duty Ghosts would probably be the best Call of Duty and it would replace my Black Ops 2 choice. But because of how boring it is with no kill streaks, I mean, you barely find any kill streaks on the map. You barely, people camp because, you know, the game is just hard to play by itself. You know, in general, people, noobs, especially like the people that are new to the game, have trouble playing a game like that where you just die instantly. The health was another problem within Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, you died really fast, I felt. Maybe that was due to the hit detection, but uh, something about it just made you die really fast in Call of Duty Ghosts, and that's why a lot of people decided to camp, and that was a major problem within Ghosts. So, you know, you got these people camping in corners with their specialist or with any, you know, basically kill streak loadout, and the game overall, when it did that, was just kind of boring, especially when the assault streaks didn't work, so that's why I didn't really like Call of Duty Ghosts, and I stopped playing after four months, I mean, of course, I played a little bit, um, you know, going forward to that, I didn't just stop completely, but, you know, I didn't play it religiously for, for the whole year, uh, Black Ops 2, I played for about six months, and then I kind of got bored of it, because I think that's, I mean, I hit Master Prestige in that game pretty fast, but Ghosts, in general, was just boring, it could have been a fun game if they made the kill streaks work, and, uh, you know, everything like that, but because of how it was, the functionality was great, but the kill streaks kind of lacked, so it's a different kind of story with Ghosts versus Black Ops 2, and now we have Advanced Warfare, which is basically... I don't know if it's a combination of the two, okay, because, you know, the hit detection, kind of like Black Ops 2, I guess you could say, it's not the greatest, it's not like, it, uh, it's not like Infinity War hit detection, as you could tell, but it's not, you know, really, really bad, it's just, uh, it's just meh for scoring, I guess you could say, lag, spawn issues, definitely, in Advanced Warfare, connection issues, and skill-based matchmaking issues are a huge problem, you know, if Conjury actually paid attention, and he didn't, uh, you know, care about the pro players all the time, as me and, Go and Ghost619 talked about, again, how he just thinks about uh, the pro players most of the time, then you wouldn't have to hold this picture up to your head and, all the time, because, you know, then there wouldn't be any skill-based matchmaking, the connections would be fixed if you took out the skill-based matchmaking, and the game would basically function regular. Now, Let's talk about score streaks within Advanced Warfare, because uh, we all know we just talked about the functionality. It's it, the hit detection's okay as far as everything else goes. It's a really poor scale. Connections are bad. Skill-based matchmaking is just awful. Uh, all that stuff put together just makes for really bad functionality of the game, which could have been fixed. It still can be fixed if Condry decides to pay attention to the people who pay sixty dollars for the game instead of the one percent of the pro MLG players out there fixing stim and cloak in the in the MLG playlists. Um, of players, but hey, that's that's his business, and that's what he wants to do, and if he feels that that's necessary versus the people that actually care about the game, then uh, that's his business, and what can I tell him, uh, you know, he that's who he is, but uh, other than that, yeah, the score streaks in Advanced Warfare, kind of really weak, they're not as weak as uh, Ghosts, I feel, you know, some kill streaks are viable, like the bombing run is really good, the system hack is still really good, even after they nerfed it with the last update, but, um, you know, the, the score streaks aren't like Black Ops 2 score streaks, you know, that missile strike, that thing is terrible in my opinion, the UAV, I'm glad they brought the UAV back, that's another thing I forgot to mention about Ghosts, they brought in the SATCOM, which was a horrible idea, UAVs are needed in Call of Duty, so I'm glad they brought the UAV back as in general, and, uh, you know, everything basically from that the score streaks could really be improved in Advanced Warfare, but, you know, it's not like the most major thing that needs to happen. The next thing is they actually, you know, obviously brought back the perks tier system, like I mentioned before, and that's a great thing. Some perks, I feel, could, you know, kind of be switched between the, per between the uh, tiers, but other than that, I'm glad they brought the perk tier system back. Um... So Advanced Warfare basically did everything really okay, except for the functionality, and then we have the gun balance within Advanced Warfare. Another thing I forgot to mention in Call of Duty Ghosts was the gun balance, which was actually really good in, in Ghosts, except for the MSBS when the game first came out, but they quickly fixed that, and uh, gun balancing Ghosts was actually really good in my opinion, you know. There wasn't any dominant gun to use. It was basically like, oh, you use the K7. Oh, use the AK-12. Oh, you use the Remington. Now, of course, you know, there were kind of dominances, but every gun was really viable. In Advanced Warfare, you don't have that. Okay, you know, even after the BAL nerf and the ASM-1 buff, 
you know, those two are the best guns in the game. They're the most overused guns in the game to this day. And the gun balance in Advanced Warfare could be fixed, but I don't know how Sledgehammer is going to do it because they just screwed themselves up even more. Um, the other guns should be really more viable of an option. And a lot of times within Advanced Warfare, you know, I find myself kind of raging. I mean, with all these problems that it has, not like going full insane rage mode, you know, like throwing stuff. Um, which does happen sometimes, but not controllers or anything like that. But, you know, sometimes I do find myself doing that with an Advanced Warfare, and I try not to just because, you know, I don't want to end up getting mad, and, you know, when you get mad at a game, you, I just don't even want to play it anymore, which is usually what happens. But with an Advanced Warfare, I want to try... I thought about making a new series, kind of like a Rage series, but not, like, focused on my channel. Like, okay, here's Rage Live, number one, like, all that stuff. Like, if I happen to go into a game and I do okay, I probably won't end up posting that. I'll probably just delete it. But if I go really bad and I think that the video and my facial expressions are really funny then maybe I'll post that as like a rage kind of thing you know bring something new and fresh to the channel versus just not posting advanced warfare at all because I don't want to be you know I, I don't want to force myself to play a game that I don't like but at the same time I don't just want to completely shut down a game when people like to watch a specific game because even I'll watch advanced warfare videos when I don't even play it most of the time anyway so that's basically a little segment on that but that's basically advanced warfare versus ghosts versus black ops 2 I'm trying to think if I forgot anything else the score streaks we talked about the perks the gun balance especially uh, really everything else just kind of like falls into play of course, with uh, Ghosts, another thing that was really annoying, besides the guard dog, which I think I talked about, because the guard dog, you know, you couldn't really kill that thing if you had it on assault, but uh, the IEDs were annoying in Call of Duty Ghosts, especially even after they nerfed them, I mean, it was a little bit better, but still... With then Advanced Warfare, you don't have that. I mean, you do have the explosive drone, but most people don't even use equipment anyways in Advanced Warfare, so it's really not that big of a deal. So that's one thing Advanced Warfare did, right? So, you know, again, this is all opinionated. There's all different opinions as to, uh, you know, how the games function and stuff like that. So if you, if you think I missed something within this video, which is probably a long video to watch, and if you're still watching to the end, I appreciate it. But if you are... If you think I'm missing something, like I missed something about Call of Duty Ghost, Black Ops 2, or Advanced Warfare, feel free to leave a comment below on what you think about the games. Oh, also another thing that I want to talk about is game modes very quick. Since I just thought of it, you know, Black Ops 2 didn't have Infected, you know, I guess there was a reason for that because they, you know, they already had zombies. Advanced Warfare has Infected and Call of Duty Ghost brought back Infected. And, uh, you know, I like the party game modes like that, so I think that that's another nice feature added in. But, yeah, so if you think I missed anything within this video, leave a comment below. Like the video if you did enjoy, and subscribe for more content along the way. And I think, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I did record some Black Ops 1, because I think I mentioned something about Black Ops 1 before, but I'm not sure if I mentioned it. So I recorded some Black Ops 1 gameplay. I hopped on. The first game that I got was, like, a 50 and 6 kill. Team, I think it was a 50 and 51 and 6 TDM on Nuketown, and uh, I'm actually I, I was surprised when I got that. I just completely dominated, and that shows that I still have you know I could still play Call of Duty. It's just Advanced Warfare is just really tough to play right now, you know. Because if I could go 51 and 6 and a TDM on my first game of Black Ops One when not playing it after a couple months, then. Yeah, there's probably a problem with just me and Advanced Warfare, which I've stated in a lot of my videos. But anyways, besides that, I'm planning on making a kind of montage around that video, so stay tuned for that video when that does happen. And I'm pretty much done talking for now, so uh, I will see you on whatever my next video happens to be. I'm Ninja Geek. I'm out. Peace.